Regrettably, Resolution 2735, adopted in June at the insistence of our American colleagues, cannot ensure a ceasefire, as it is hinged on the outcome of very dubious negotiations, which, moreover, are not even underway. We would like to believe that Washington will finally recognize this obvious fact and will not sabotage the relevant new initiatives of the Council in the future and we do support such initiatives. I recall that the UN Security Council has the leverage and the necessary and time-tested tools to tackle these tasks. We are all well aware of what I am referring to. The only thing we need to do now is to find the political will to finally abandon narrow geopolitical interests and clearly and unequivocally demand an immediate ceasefire. We see that all but one members of the Security Council is ready to do that. We do not understand why the rest of the Council should share responsibility for the madness going on in Gaza, as it is only one member that prevents us from stopping it. We would therefore ask all those who will speak after us not to limit themselves to general appeals to the Council, but to personalize their approaches, addressing them to the state that bears the sole responsibility for what is going on. I thank you for your attention.